So a lot of my audience lives in countries where motorcycles or two wheels is the like common form of transportation. And I've had questions about like what are my favorite like truly wireless headphones to wear with a helmet. And today we're just gonna talk about my favorite pair of helmet compatible wireless headphones. Hey, my name is Mitchell. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about the tech I use. Before we can start talking about these different headphones and wearing helmets and all that kind of stuff, I wanna thank everyone that uses my affiliate links. Without your support, we really couldn't keep this channel going. Uh, and that money basically goes directly into buying tech for me to make videos about for you guys. So if you guys wanna support me, just use the affiliate links. Also, I have a website uh, where I've written content. Right now uh, on the website, I'm working with a great writer. We have articles posted twice a week about content kind of similar to this. And if you guys like the content here on the channel, go ahead and check that out. Also, if you are on Telegram, check out my Telegram community, link in the description. Okay, enough talking, let's just hop into this. Now, tons of different people have been asking me about what their favorite or what my favorite pair of headphones is to wear uh, with a motorcycle helmet. I have two motorcycle helmets here. Uh, I don't think I would review a motorcycle helmet, but if you guys wanted me to review a motorcycle helmet, uh, both of these helmets that I have are from reputable companies and both of them are under $200 USD. If you want me to review a helmet, let me know in the comments. My first suggestion to people with truly wireless headphones in general is that they are not helmet compatible. There's tons of different reasons why, but just for instance, if we have this fake pair of AirPods, we'll take them out, we'll put them in. Okay, uh, this is like an adventure style helmet. It's really cool and comfortable when the weather gets hot like it is right now in Vietnam. Okay, uh, that's the problem with them. Uh, although they might fit like semi-comfortable in my ears with the helmet on, when you go to take the helmet off, you could be in a variety of places. You could be on the side of the street, you could be by a gutter. And when you take the helmet off, you are essentially dislodging these from your ear and just letting them fall free. Uh, if you're wearing one of the helmets that doesn't go fully over your head, you're not gonna have this issue, but then again, when you're riding, there's nothing to actually hold them in place or protect your ears from the wind, which can get loud. So by and large, I don't like uh, truly wireless headphones with helmets as, at all. Uh, these are my T1Cs, right? These are pretty, pretty low profile headphones. Uh, this is my HJC. And even though these fit pretty comfortably in my ear, when you take the helmet off, both of them fall off. And on top of that, you have no way to control these headphones uh, when you're wearing a helmet. So because of that, I say that truly wireless headphones for riding a motorcycle suck. Now, these right now are my favorite pair of headphones to wear while, while riding a motorcycle. And these are the Anchor uh, Sound Buds, Anchor Soundcore Liberty Light. Anchor Soundcore Liberty Light. Uh, these have Bluetooth 4.1 or Bluetooth 4.2. They have these big buttons here, which I'll get to that in a second. They have over 10 hours of playback time. They're IPX5 water resistant. They have a microphone that is conveniently located uh, on the neck band themselves. I don't know where, ah, the, the microphone for these is located right here. This is all very important. Uh, but the most important aspect of it is that they protrude minimally from my ears. So whichever helmet I choose to wear with them, this is a more street helmet. There's absolutely no pressure on my ears. And when I take the helmet off, they just fall down around my neck. Now with this helmet, something that's also really nice is that because the microphone is located in one centralized place that's close to your mouth, a little kind of hack that I have done
Now, if you guys need to make a phone call while riding, I don't necessarily suggest it, but you always have the option to go ahead and tuck the microphone up by your mouth. And with my last pair of Truly Wireless headphones, which were a little bit more flexible, or at least the neckband part was, I could stick that up into the helmet itself and have great conversations with them uh, to the point where people didn't know I was riding a motorcycle. You're never gonna get that with a pair of Truly Wireless headphones. Uh, the other thing that's great about these headphones overall is their IPX5 water resistance. It rains a lot here where I live. Uh, if it rains a lot where you live, I would suggest these. I've had these in a full on downpour, get completely soaked with no issues. Also, they magnetically clasp around your neck, which is kind of nice, I guess. You can put them behind you to get them a little bit more out of the way, a little bit less dangly if you so need. And one of the more important things is that the controls are on the left-hand side. Now, while riding a motorcycle or a scooter, you're usually using your right hand, actually all motorcycles and scooters, you're using your right hand to accelerate. And so you have your left hand free if you don't need to manipulate a clutch. With the setup on these, you have volume up and down, long press either up or down to skip or wind a track, uh, like a two second hold to go ahead and summon assistant, which works great because the assistant, or because the microphone, sorry, is right here. So normally while I'm riding, I can usually use Google map directions or like Google assistant to give me directions while I'm riding, which if you're on a motorcycle on traffic is a lifesaver. It just makes the user experience of these amazing. So the part that I wanted to talk about in regards to buttons is that uh, not everyone wears motorcycle gloves. If I'm going around in the city, uh, it's dry. Uh, I have my girlfriend on the back, so I'm driving pretty slow. Uh, I'm not always gonna wear gloves. If I'm on my bigger motorcycle by myself or with some friends with bigger motorcycles, I'm probably wearing gloves if you get my drift. Uh, and so being able to manipulate these buttons, which are easily findable and tactile, and you can feel the press, is really important. That's why these are my favorite headphones right now. They do a good job at blocking out wind noise for longer trips. Uh, they, the sound on them is okay. Uh, the connection stability is perfect. I've never had an issue with the connection dropping out. Uh, their microphone quality is really, really good. And they're pretty cheap. They're like under 50 bucks, which in the overall, like if we're talking about just headphones, uh, 50 bucks for a pair of headphones is kind of a lot compared to something like this, which is 20 bucks. But for motorcycle gear, and that's what I think of these as, they're not that expensive. The other reason I have no issue paying uh, like a slight premium for these is that living here in Vietnam and having to commute places on motorcycle, uh, being able to have the audio input for directions without having to look down at a phone, to me is kind of a safety feature. So uh, if you ride a motorcycle, if you want a good quality pair of Bluetooth wireless headphones and anchors are available in your country, uh, get these. Um, if these are not available in your country, then find something similar. But my suggestion to you is when you go into the store to try them on, bring your motorcycle helmet so that you can see how they interact with you putting the helmet on and off. Uh, that's gonna wrap up this kind of different video. If you guys want me to review these motorcycle helmets for some reason, uh, it's the LS2 Pioneer and it's the HJCIS-17. Uh, both of them are ECE and DOT rated. Oh, the LS2 is not, uh, the, L the LS2 I don't believe is uh, DOT because it has a ratcheting chin strap, but they make a DOT version of this. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, it would maybe be interesting to do uh, a different piece of content for you guys. Um, F, of course, you ride motorcycles. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this weird ranty video there. Uh, till next time, guys, if you wanna see some more videos about like truly wireless headphones like we talked about, click or tap over here for videos about the QCY T1Cs. If you wanna see videos about the Redmi AirDots or why you shouldn't buy the Redmi AirDots, go ahead and click or tap over here. If you wanna make sure you see all my videos, go ahead, subscribe, where my nose is. Till next time, it's been Mitchell, see you soon.